Tesla AI on X has just released an enormous list of improvements coming to full self-driving version 13, which is due to arrive to customers before Christmas. It's rolling out internally next week. Things are moving so quickly at Planet Tesla, it's hard to keep up, but let me take you through what we can expect in as simple language as I can put it to understand it all. Here's the post. As October comes to a close, here's an update on the releases. What we completed. These are the things that Tesla have already done. End to end on highway has shipped to 50,000 customers with version 12.5.6.1. Tesla's end-to-end -end on highway is a feature where the car autonomously manages the entire driving process from highway entry to exit. Cybertruck build that improves responsiveness. I'm not sure if this means software, hardware or both, but assume the end result enhances the vehicle's handling and performance characteristics. Successful Wii Robot event with 50 autonomous Teslas safely transporting over 2,000 passengers. I've covered this event in detail in previous videos, but reflecting on Tesla's vision for the future with autonomous cybercabs, robots wandering around the place, or the Robovan, or Cyberbus as I believe it might be called, are all pretty big clues as to what Tesla is building, where the company is heading. The question is, has Tesla already proved that it can do the impossible? You know, become the world's most profitable EV manufacturer, build the world's best-selling car with a Model Y, Building up its battery energy business, its lineup of groundbreaking vehicles, its record advancements in factory as well as data center builds. If you look at Tesla's past, it's a great indication that they do achieve the impossible. What's coming next? Full rollout of end to end highway driving to all AI4 users, previously referred to as Hardware 4, which is targeted for early next week, including enhancements in stop smoothness, less annoying bad weather notifications, and other safety improvements. By the way, those who bought full self driving for Teslas that have AI3 or Hardware 3, as it was formerly known, will be upgraded to AI4 Hardware 4 should it be necessary. As in, if Tesla finds out that only this newer version of their hardware is the only system that can operate Teslas fully autonomously, they'll upgrade those that have already paid for it. Again, if necessary at all, AI3 might well be able to be back engineered somewhat to handle full autonomy, to be confirmed, I guess. Improved version 12.5 models for AI3 city driving, as in improved autonomous driving whilst in cities. It's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? Next, automatically smart summon release to Europe, China and other regions of the world. Hurrah! If you haven't seen Tesla's ass yet, I can confirm it's a beauty. From the videos I've seen and the demo I saw in St. George recently, ass is mind-blowing to witness as your Tesla navigates from far, far away in a car park to come and find you. Cannot wait to see this feature rolled out to other regions of the world. Up until now, this is as good as someone gets here in the UK. You have to be rather close to the vehicle, and it's a little sketchy as to whether it works or not. But essentially, it turns your car into a remote control one. Next in the list of updates, we have version 13, which is a package of the following major technology upgrades. And thankfully, I stumbled over Dennis here on X that had already asked Grok to break this down to a five-year-old's understanding of it. Brilliant and perfect for me. Here's a breakdown of the Tesla FSD version 13 upgrades in simple terms. Number one, 36 Hertz full resolution AI4 video inputs. Imagine your car's eyes, cameras, can now see much faster and clearer than before. Instead of taking a picture every few seconds, they're now taking 36 pictures every second. This helps the car understand what's happening around it more quickly and accurately. Oh, I like this. Number two, native AI4 inputs and neural network architectures. The car's brain, the AI system, now speaks the same language as its new eyes, the AI4 cameras. This means the brain can understand what it sees more naturally without needing translations, making the car's reactions smoother and more precise. Number three, three times model size scaling. Think of the car's brain as a library. This upgrade means we've added three times more books to this library. More books, data, means the car can learn and remember more about how to drive safely and efficiently. Number four, three times model context length scaling. Now, not only does the car have more books, but each book is three times longer. This means when the car looks at something, it can remember what it saw much longer ago, helping it make better decisions based on more history. Number five, 4.2 times data scaling. 
The car has been given a lot more homework. It has four times more examples to learn from, making it smarter at handling different driving situations. Number six, five times training compute scaling, enabled by the Cortex training cluster. Imagine the car's brain now has a supercomputer to teach it. This computer works five times faster than before, so the car learns its lessons much quicker. Number seven, much improved reward predictions for collision avoidance, following traffic controls, navigation, etc. The car now gets better at guessing what will make a good or bad outcome. It's like playing a game where you learn how to score points, good driving, and avoid penalties, accidents, or traffic violations. Number eight, efficient representation of maps and navigation inputs. The car now understands maps like you understand your neighborhood. It can find its way and know what's coming up ahead much more efficiently. Number nine, audio inputs for better handling of emergency vehicles. Now the car can hear sirens too. If there's an ambulance or fire truck coming, it knows to make way for them just like you would. Number 10, redesign controller for smoother, more accurate tracking. The car's steering, braking and accelerating are now like having a very smooth, highly skilled driver. It can follow the road's path more accurately and comfortably. Number 11, integrated unpark, reverse and park capabilities. The car can now do a three-point turn back into a parking spot or even park itself without your help, making parking much easier for you. Number 12, support your destination options including pulling over, parking in a spot, driveway or garage. When you tell your car where to go, it can now decide how to get there the best way possible, whether that means pulling over, finding a parking spot or driving to your garage. Oh, my wife's going to love that one. Number 13, improved camera cleaning and handling of camera occlusions. If something like rain, mud or a leaf covers the car's cameras, it now knows better how to clean them or work around the problem, keeping its vision clear. We have integrated several of these improvements and are already seeing a four times increase in miles between necessary interventions compared to version 12.5.4. This is huge, a four times increase between interventions compared to version 12, which has just blown my tiny mind as it drove me around Vegas. Incredible. So if you drove 50 miles intervention free, expect your Tesla to drive 200 miles intervention free with this next upgrade. This lays the foundation for the version 13 series and we are targeting to ship version 13 to internal customers by the end of this week. That'll be Tesla employees. Most of the remaining items are independently validated and will be integrated over November in a series of point releases. We are targeting a wide release with version 13.3 with most of the above improvements for AI4 vehicles around Thanksgiving. This is a mind-blowing list of advancements towards solving autonomy. Having just returned from Las Vegas where our Cybertruck was chauffeuring us around autonomously in the city streets and beyond, with all the confidence, smoothness and swiftness of no taxi driver I've ever felt, Tesla are no doubt on the cusps of solving autonomous driving once and for all. I've now witnessed it for myself. Version 12.5 is human-like, ghost-like perhaps. I felt for the first time with Tesla's autonomy that someone else was confidently in control. I cannot imagine how good this next iteration of full self-driving will be, but I cannot wait to find out. Like and subscribe here to Tesla Jigsaw to keep up to date with all the Tesla news, but I want to hear from you. Have Tesla cracked it? Do you see any problems other than regulatory issues for the rollout of autonomous cars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you did somehow miss the We Robot event, here's a quick overview, this video or this one. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.